Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and Interactive. And I want to bring your attention to ELECF in America. E-L-E-C, in Canada, Electric Royalties Limited. We love royalty companies. We love anything to do with electrification of vehicles. As the world goes electric, we need to identify companies that are undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, that are going to benefit from the electrification of vehicles. And how about Electric Royalties Limited? Put on your radar, put on your watch list. We think it has a chance to be a big winner. And we're going to talk about it right here exclusively on Rich TV. Don't touch that dial. Let's take a look at Electric Royalties Limited. All right. I want to bring your attention to electricroyalties.com. That's the website. You can see the symbol ELEC on the TSXV and on the OTCQB in America, ELECF. Also important to take a look at all their socials. This is their LinkedIn right here. Royalties on metals that will benefit from the drive to electrification, value through long-term sustainable investments. And right here, this is their Twitter. We are following them on Twitter. Electric Royalties is a royalty company set to take advantage of the demand for a wide range of commodities that will benefit from the drive to electrification. This is their YouTube. We've subscribed to their YouTube. This is their Facebook right here, and we like their Facebook. Now let's take a look at them on Webull. They're currently at 29 cents, and we're going to mark this chart up. So first and foremost, it's been as high as 45. That's the high high. I always like to mark the high high and the low low, and the low low is about 13 cents. So the low low is 13, high high is 45, and we're currently sitting right at kind of kind of in the middle, right at 29. So what this tells me as an investor is if it dips, I'd like to kind of get in on a dip on these dips. You want to buy it. And if it rips back up to that 45 cent mark or even like around that 39 cent mark, that's typically where it's starting to get a little bit of resistance. So if you're looking to take a trade, I'd like to get it in on a little dip. If it dips back to like this 22 cents or lower range, buy it. And then if it rips back up to that 30 cent, 39 to 45 cent range, that's typically where it's getting resistance. You can also see here on the RSI that it's made a nice big move up and it's actually sitting very close to the sell zone in the RSI at 66. So maybe if you get a chance, if it does dip, try to buy it on the dip because it is getting to a zone where typically the sell zone here, the 66 zone is typically where they're going to be a lot of selling pressure. I'm not saying it can't go higher, Anything's possible. Big news could come and just rip it through. But as a trader, it's always important to look at the RSI and try to buy when it's at like around a 30 RSI or lower and try to sell when it's at like a 65 or higher RSI. And you can clearly see that when it got to that about that 35 RSI was right when it was about 22 cents. So that also looks like a great entry point. And you can see it's made this little move up here. Uh, from 22 cents to 29 cents just in the last little while here. Like in the last few weeks, you can see this trend up from that 22 cent zone all the way to the 29 cent zone. So some news might continue to rip this up. This momentum might continue. Uh, you can see here on the MACD that the orange line crossed the blue and it's going up and it looks extremely bullish. So this channel basically looks like it's going to continue to go higher. So we're going to watch it very, very closely and see if that continues. This is their corporate presentation, and you can find it right on their website, electricroyalties.com. This is the corporate presentation. And you can see here, electric royalties. Why invest in electric royalties? A growing portfolio of royalties on metals required for the drive to sustainable electrification. Lithium, manganese, zinc, copper, nickel, tin, graphite, cobalt, and vanadium. Exponential growth forecast in demand for clean energy metals, management team and advisors with proven track record in creating value for shareholders, revenue generating royalty portfolio, and we love royalty companies in this type of market environment. You can see here the different areas of focus 
So a lot of different metals. You can see the different countries, Canada, Australia, United States, Africa, and Europe. And you can see the share structure, cash, and debt position. One of the things I want to bring to your attention, zero debt. That's huge. Zero debt is something we look for. 1.5 million in cash and cash equivalents and a 22.9 million market cap. So a baby market cap and 93 million shares issued outstanding, 7 million warrants, sorry, 7 million options, 22 million warrants and fully diluted 123 million shares. So a, a, a tight and responsible share structure. It's very important to us here at Rich TV. This is their royalty portfolio. So very impressive royalty portfolio, as you can see. And you can see the development stage, the mineral, the royalty, the location, the operator, and the market cap. So we love royalty companies because they don't have to spend any money actually drilling. They just invest in companies that are essentially pulling the metals out of the ground. And they help them give them some bridge funding, essentially, and get a piece of the royalty. It's, it's, it's a great business model. We love this model, and we've seen other success stories in this industry as well. Key upcoming project catalysts. So it's always important to know as an investor what's coming up. You can see here lots coming up here, Q2 2022, Seymour Lake Lithium Update Mineral Resource Estimate, Q2 2022, Gramata Graphite Update Mineral Resource Estimate, Q2 2022, Battery Hill Manganese Preliminary Economic Assessment. Now we're talking about the, the quarter we're in, Q3 2022, Mont Sorcier Vanadium Preliminary Economic Assessment, 2022, Othier Lithium Feasibility Study, Early 2023, Canset Lithium Inaugural Mineral Resource Estimate, and Q1 2023, Mont Sorcier Vanadium Feasibility Study, and 2023 Zonia Copper Previsibility Study. So lots to look forward to, a lot of catalysts for electric royalties. The clean energy transition is mineral intensive. You can see the breakdown and the importance there. Low carbon technologies will demand a higher percentage of the world's mineral production. So you can see here, the trend and the 2050 projected annual demand from energy technologies as percent of 2018 or 2019 annual production. Now, I also wanted you to look at their latest news. So latest news right here on September 6th, Electric Royalties closes Zonia Copper Royalty Acquisition. On September 12th, ELEC announces filing a preliminary economic assessment for Mont. Sourcey. You can find that all on their website at electricroyalties.com. Just click on latest news and you can get access to all of that. You can also take a look at the U.S. symbol. E-L-E-C-F is the U.S. symbol. And I wanted to show you the three-month chart because this chart looks extremely bullish to me. You can see it's been as low as 10 cents, been as high as 24, and it's really holding strong at this level. So this looks extremely bullish to me. And it looks like it is going to most likely continue higher based on the trend, based on the news, based on everything that's happening. So we'll keep you updated on that as well. That's the U.S. symbol, E-L-E-C-F, for electric royalties in America. And once again, the corporate presentation that we're looking at, royalty company advantages. The royalty streaming business model has been proven to outperform mining companies and they don't have all the overhead that mining companies do. So you can see all the advantages of royalty companies over mining companies. Royalty companies do not operate mines, nor need large and highly specialized teams to carry out on their regular course of business. Diversifies investments and mitigates risk. Royalties are generally registered against mineral titles, and lower risk royalties are typically based on revenues and paid irrespective of underlying profitability with no further capital outlay required. This is why royalty companies should be on your radar and should be on your watch list right here, right now. This is the process of acquiring royalties, electric royalties, payment to acquire a mining royalty. Then they work with the mining company and payment is invested in the mining operation. 
And then the mining company gives a royalty of cash flow for the life of the mine. I love this model. Estimating annual royalty cash flow, royalty rate times annual production times metal price equals gross revenue royalty, otherwise known as GRR, and transport, refining, and or smelter costs, etc. You just minus that, and that equals the net smelter royalty, otherwise known as the NSR. And you can see our lithium royalty assets are primarily in Eastern Canada, a major hub for battery plants. So you can see the areas of focus, a North American battery initiatives. And you can see their lithium portfolio, lithium prices up 290% year over year. Clearly that's due to the electrification of vehicles. And you can see these areas of focus all in Canada. And their lithium royalty spotlight, the Authier. And you can see the areas of focus there in Quebec, Canada. And more lithium royalty spotlights. This is the Canset project and the Seymour Lake project. And the Canset is in Quebec and the Seymour Lake project is in Ontario, Canada. This is their graphite portfolio in Madagascar, Canada, and Australia. And the Gravmata mine in Madagascar. This is the Bissett Creek in Ontario, Canada. This is their zinc portfolio. This is the manganese portfolio, both in Canada. This is the vanadium portfolio, also in Canada. So you can see a very rich portfolio here. This is the copper portfolio in Australia and the United States. And the cobalt portfolio in Australia. This is the nickel portfolio in Norway. I mean, this is impressive. We're talking international here. And a, the tin portfolio in the United States. This is the directors, officers, and management team. Brendan Urich, who we've interviewed, is the CEO and director, founder, and CEO of Evanor Investments Limited, a financial advisory group to junior mining companies for alternative financing, debt, equity, and M&A with experience in over $2 billion in mining financing transactions throughout his career, prior global experience as a research analyst, as well as in business development and mining financial advisory roles with Endeavor Financial, Cambrian Mining Finance Limited, Northern Vertex Mining Corp., and King & Bay West Management Corp. You can see their chairman, Marchand Sinman. You can see director, Robert Schaefer. Another director, Craig Lindsay, CFO, Lukman Khan, and chief geoscientist, David Gaunt. These are their advisors, Gregory Bose, Rodney Cooper, Marceau Schlumberger, Nicholas Schlumberger, Richard Williams, and Darcy Marod. And a high value growth and income investment opportunity Increasing electric vehicle and battery production is set to drastically increase demand growth across electric metals over the next decade. This is why I think you need to put electric royalties on your radar and on your watches right here and right now. I must remind you that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV. If you like the video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. They are targeting long-term recurring and diversified royalty cash flows with no ongoing holding costs. Royalty companies have been shown to outperform investing directly in operating mining companies 
and the underlying commodities associated with them, which is why I love royalty companies and experience management team and board to drive the company forward, including experienced royalty executives, geologists, engineers, and mining financiers. There's the contact information for Electric Royalties. Feel free to contact Brendan Urich, the CEO. If you have general inquiries, you can email them at info at electricroyalties.com and their phone number is there with their address. All right, love to know what you guys think about Electric Royalties. Once again, their website is electricroyalties.com. Website is a very nice website. Breaks down their royalties, events, media, and latest news, featured videos, and corporate presentations. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please put it in the description of this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners. We bring you the analysis. We bring you CEO interviews, and we love to bring it to you first. I've never heard anyone talk about electric royalties until today. Love to know what you think. Do you think it's a big winner? It's your host with the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm out. Thank you.